So, as many of you know, when a new parent takes maternal or parental leave, they lose 45% of their salary. Uh, by going on EI mat leave or parental leave, uh, it, it's, a, it's a huge sacrifice. So 45% of, of your salary is gone. and. That is at a time when, as a family, mm -hmm. your costs are going up. Uh, yeah. Believe me, I have five kids. <laughs> They're expensive. <laughs> and um, <laughs> someone said to me one time, you know, the, uh, when I had my fourth child born, we had two boys and two, two girls. And someone said, when you have one boy and one girl, that's the millionaire's family. Yeah. I, I, did, I had never heard that before, but a boy and a girl is a millionaire's family. So two boys and two girls, is that a billionaire's family? <laughs> and I said, no, no, when you have kids, you don't add money. No, you no. you subtract yeah, money. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely, it was the exact opposite. Yeah. But uh, um, uh, but for, for many families, uh, that, that is a huge cost. Now, some people in unionized work environments, people who work for the government, they have a top-up, um, and, and that can vary. But fundamentally, for the vast majority of Canadians, they lose a huge chunk of their salary when they go on, uh, on, on leave for uh, caring and, and raising their child. So my proposal would be essentially to make those benefits tax-free, oh. recognizing the fact that you are already sacrificing your income with the, with, with the loss of it, uh, you shouldn't be then taxed on the benefits that, that, that you do receive, uh, like other insurance pre uh, benefits uh, that, that, that enjoy that status. It, it, it affects everyone on, on different ways. Obviously, it's, uh, it's, it's money that's withheld every time you receive those benefits. But for many, many uh, parents, when they file their taxes, they realize that the withholding tax that was uh, deducted from their, their, from their benefits was not sufficient. Mm -hmm. And so at the end of this year of buying equipment and strollers and food and high chairs and you know carpet cleaning and <laughs> things like that, uh, at the end of all that, uh, then they have to write a check to the Receiver General of Canada because uh, they owe taxes above and beyond. And I think a, a way to recognize the sacrifice that parents have done by making those benefits tax-free, it's an important step that we can take to make life more affordable for Canadian families.